What's going on folks? My name is Spice. This is Spice Camp Fish. So if you guys have been keeping along on the channel, you guys might have seen a couple of videos ago. I actually put up a tackle tour or a tackle shop tour, I guess I should say. But yeah, I've been releasing them out of order. So yesterday was actually the day that I filmed that little tackle shop video. After I filmed that video, I told myself that I was done buying fishing tackle. I was done wasting money on stuff that I didn't need for the rest of the year. And so naturally I woke up to a text from my buddy Jack. It said he was going on down to Shields, which is one of the local tackle shops. Asked me if I wanted to tag along or if I needed anything. I didn't really need anything, but I figured I'd tag along just because at the end of the day I do kind of just like walking around Shields looking at some of the new stuff but I'm usually pretty good about not spending money in that store just because a lot of the time they don't really have the stuff that I'm looking for. Now of course since I told myself I was done buying tackle the folks over at Shields decided that they were going to bring in a whole new bunch of tackle so I went in there hoping that I wasn't going to end up spending any money and of course ended up spending right around a hundred bucks so we got a whole big old bag of some stuff that I really didn't need but a lot of this stuff is stuff that I wanted to try for a little bit. A couple of these baits were actually baits that some of you guys actually asked me about so got a couple of things for like some review style videos at some point in the year but like I said they had a whole bunch of new products and stuff in store a bunch of stuff that I really wanted to try and have been wanting to try for a little bit so spent a whole bunch of money that I probably shouldn't have really spent and bought a whole bunch of stuff that I probably won't use for a little bit and I know in my last video I said that was going to be the last unboxing style video for the year again I thought that was going to be the last unboxing style video I really thought I was done buying fishing stuff but of course, they had a bunch of new stuff at Shield, so I had to go pick up a bunch of new stuff. But yeah, like I said, I ended up spending about 100 bucks. Not all the stuff that I bought was all fishing stuff. I bought like a couple of other like little random stuff, bought a drink, some snacks and stuff while I was down there. But overall, I think I ended up with like 80 or $85 worth of tackle. So I've got a hefty little bag of stuff to go through. Hopefully it's going to be a pretty solid unboxing for you guys. And hopefully this is going to be like the last unboxing, unbagging style video. I've been trying to go out and do some fishing for the past few days. For whatever reason, the fish just don't seem like they want to bite. The ponds and stuff around here literally just unfroze in the last week or so so the fish are still pretty lethargic fishing's probably going to be a little slow for the next week or so but hopefully i'll be able to get out within the next few days and uh, catch at least my first largemouth of 2023 but i figured since the fishing still kind of sucks i may as well just go down to the store and buy a few new things to stock up on some new stuff that i wanted to try for the year but yeah like i said we're gonna hop right into the unboxing hope you guys enjoy it and uh yeah really excited for you guys to see what we got Alrighty, so we're gonna start off with a couple little terminal tackle things that i picked up First up, I got a pack of these Tokyo rigs. This is actually a five aught size, so a little bit bigger, but I figured this would be good for like a big Texas rig worm, like a 10 inch worm or something. They were on sale for 250, so I figured for 250, I may as well pick them up. I have a smaller pack of the Texas rig or the Tokyo rigs in like a four aught or a three aught size, so I figured just something a little bit bigger for like, again, a little bit bigger worm, maybe a big like lizard or a brush hog or something like that would go well on these as well. I don't really throw a Tokyo rig all too much. It's just like a solid alternative to like a Texas rig, keeps your bait a little bit more off the bottom. So just a little bit of a different presentation for a little bit more finicky fish. Again, not something that I throw a lot or something that I see a lot of other people throw, but uh, it's just something that I figured I'd pick up. For 250, can't really complain on that. Again, not something that I throw a whole ton, but just figured I'd pick up a couple because may as well just have some. And then the other piece of terminal tackle that I got is actually these Okashira screw heads. These are the 16th ounce size, so the really tiny size. They come with a three aught hook. I don't know what color they call this. I assume it's just like a shad or a natural color or something, but these little screw heads are super interesting. They actually have a blade on there and the blades are actually really cool too. Uh, one of the sides of the blade is actually bigger than the other, which I'm sure you can't really see, but. But the idea of the screw and also the screw being kind of like mismatched sizes is it's supposed to give kind of like a weird vibration in the water, almost to feel like a, a thumping or like a fluttering bait fish tail or something like that. It's supposed to be almost like a finesse chatterbait or something. It's supposed to be really good this time of the year. So figured I'd pick some up since I saw that they had them in stock again. Again, not something that I throw really all that much. I've thrown the original uh, Okashira heads without the little screws on them, but haven't got a chance to try these yet. So I figured again, since they were in stock, I may as well just pick up a pack. But yeah, this is kind of that time of year where you want to be throwing those little tiny, like small underspins and paddle tail swim baits and stuff like that. So I figured this would be a good little alternative, just something a little bit different than not a lot of people are throwing. Again, not a bait that I throw all that much or really at all, but I uh, figured it'd be something kind of cool to try. These things are pretty expensive though, so I'm gonna try not to lose them all too often. Uh, they're like two bucks a piece. I think this whole package is five, yeah, five ninety nine for the whole package. So not super inexpensive. A three pack is two bucks a head, but again, it's mega bass, so you get what you pay for. They're really high quality. They come with like these little hand tied skirt things or not skirt things but wire keepers to keep your baits on there really well really interesting little baits again suit so look super good hooks seem like they're really really strong really sharp 
They're kind of like an odd dull gray color, which is different, but should be super sharp. I mean, they're mega bass hooks, so I'd have to imagine they're about the sharpest thing on the market. But yeah, really excited to try those things out again in the early spring, maybe throw them around in the summer as well. And then also from mega bass, I picked up one of these Uozi swimmers or Uoz swimmers or the Uoz swimmer. I don't know what they're called, but it's U-O-Z-E swimmer. And it's just like a little swim jig, but they actually have this little underspin blade on the bottom of it. So kind of like a mix between a swim jig and a spinner bait, but super, super natural, super lifelike presentation. I'm actually gonna pop this thing out for you. Well, absolutely destroyed the packaging on that guy, but there's that little Uozi swimmer. That's that quarter ounce size. I don't know what color they call that, but it's just kind of like a natural bluegill color. But again, got that super high quality mega bass hook on there. Now that I'm seeing it and feeling it, it is slick and sharp and everything that you want in a hook and then some. This thing's got a really interesting like monofilament bait keeper on it. It's got like four little monofilament things on there, little tabs. And I guess that's supposed to keep your bait on there super well. But again, super high quality stuff. I never thrown this like swim jig spinner bait thing before. It looked super interesting. I've always had my eye on them. They're just like 12 or 13 bucks. I never really pulled the trigger on one before, but again, figured I'd just pick one up because I mean, I'm in the business of spending money, I guess. But yeah, look at that for a little bluegill profile. That thing's gonna be sweet. I'm really excited to throw the thing around in the spring, around that spawn, post-spawn area, when those fish are really starting to feed up on some bluegill. That's gonna be a killer. Alrighty, then going on to something a little bit different, we got ourselves a chatterbait or a bladed jig, I guess. This isn't a chatterbait. It's actually the new Berkeley Slobber Knocker. So I saw these came out recently. They're a little bit more expensive than a chatterbait. I think they're like 12 bucks or something like that. So a little bit more expensive, but look super high quality. I've been seeing a lot of really good things about these things. This is a 3 8 ounce size. It is the bruised color. So it's like a green pumpkin with some blue in there. A little bit of black in that skirt as well. Really interesting, really good looking color for both clear as well as dirty water. That's kind of why I wanted it. I wanted like a good little bluegill presentation for throw it in pretty much any sort of clarity of water. And that pretty much checks all the boxes for me. I'm actually going to pull this one out as well because I kind of want to see it and it looks really good. But yeah, there we go. There's a little slobber knocker. The skirt is actually all messed up right now, so I have to fluff that out a little bit. But overall, it looks like a really great looking bait. Got a halfway decent bait keeper on there, I guess. That should hold a bait on there pretty well, actually. Got a hand tied skirt on there, so that's pretty sweet. Got a little bit of a different blade shape on there, a little bit different than your normal chatter bait. Got a little bit more room up in there in that little eye area where it connects to the head of the bait. So that's kind of interesting. I'm not really sure what this thing is designed to do or how it's supposed to be different from a normal chatter bait or something like that, but we're definitely gonna have to throw it around, see what it can do, and uh, see if we can catch some fish on it. But you guys know me, you know how much I love a chatter bait, and I mean, Berkeley makes some pretty solid stuff. So when I saw they were coming out with a bladed jig, you know I had to pick some up. And again, they are a little expensive, so I only ended up picking up this one. I was gonna probably pick up a couple different colors, but I realized they were like 12 bucks and I was like, yeah, I think I'm just gonna get the one. So pick the one color that I figured would be most universal and uh, yeah, that's that bruise color again. Looks freaking sweet. Alrighty, next up we got a couple of packs of these. So I'm sure you guys recognize what these things are. These are the Berkeley Powerbait Gillies. So I actually saw they have the bigger size on sale. This is like the 130 millimeter, so that's a huge freaking profile. Just comes in a two pack. I think that's the watermelon, yeah, watermelon candy color, they call that one. Then we also got one of the smaller sizes, this is the 90 size, and that's in the green pumpkin blue flash color. So I actually had one of you guys uh, comment that you wanted to see me do an unbiased review on these. I've been meaning to pick them up for a little while, but honestly, I've just kind of been putting it off because I don't really want to throw them or buy them all that much. And they are a little bit expensive for soft plastics. I think they're like $7.50 for each of these. This one was actually marked down to $4.50, so I got that one a little bit cheaper. But, but generally, I think they're somewhere around that seven to eight dollar price range. So not a super inexpensive bait. You don't really get a ton in each pack either. You only get four in the smaller size and then only two in the bigger size. But one of you guys asked me to do a little review on these and uh, I've been kind of putting it off a little bit just because I haven't really wanted to spend the money on these things. But again, saw this one was on sale. So I figured I'd pick up one of the smaller sizes as well, just so we can finally do a fully unbiased review on these. So keep on the lookout for that at some point over the spring or summer or something. But yeah, I got a couple of packs of the ghillies. So hopefully we'll be able to do a review on these at some point. Alrighty, next up is a big company that I'm sure you guys know a whole bunch. This is Six Sense. Everybody knows Six Sense. So we got one of their older baits, I guess. This is their Vega Frog. I haven't had a chance to try the Vega Frog yet, but they look freaking sweet. This is the Gill Fest color, so just like a natural bluegill kind of color. But yeah, there's that Gill Fest color. Again, just like a super natural bluegill, kind of like a natural white belly with a little bit of orange under the chin. But again, just kind of like a natural bluegill 
bait fish color frog. I've been making it a point to kind of pick up a frog or two every time I go and make a tackle warehouse order or go to a tackle shop or something like that just because I feel like I'm running pretty low on frogs and I really do want to update my frog arsenal a good bit. So I've been adding a frog here and there and uh, this is the newest addition to that. These frogs aren't super expensive. I think they're like 10 bucks, which isn't the most expensive frog I've seen. They had some of those mega bass frogs for like 18 or 19 bucks, and I was definitely not going to pick up one of those, but I figured I'd pick one of these up just because they look super sweet and I've always wanted to try one. I don't really throw a frog all too much, but again, it's one of those things that I want to get better at this year. I keep saying that every single year that I'm going to keep throwing a frog, and I feel like I throw it less and less every year. But I picked up a few new frogs that I really want to try, so I'm hoping that'll kind of push me in the right direction to throw frogs a little bit more, and hopefully we'll be able to actually get a little bit better at frog fishing. And then I also picked up a pack of these. These are a brand new bait from Sixth Sense. This is the Bongo. So this is kind of like their jig trailer, like kind of their Rage Menace style bait. Kind of a perfect cross between like a twin tail grub and then just like your average cross style bait. So got those little flapped appendages on the end. Again, very similar to like a Rage Craw or something like that. These things should put off an absolute ton of vibration and movement in the water though. So I'm really excited to throw these things around. Maybe flip them, maybe do a little bit of Texas rig in, throw them on a Carolina rig. Obviously these are going to be great jig trailers as well. But yeah, really excited to throw this bait around. Again, it's a new bait for six cents. Haven't really heard all too much about it, but I have seen a few people catching some decent fish on it. So really excited to get this thing out in the water and see what it can do. And that's that green pumpkin juice color. So fantastic looking color right there. It's just green pumpkin with literally every color flake, I guess. Got some orange, some green, some blue, some red, some yellow. Literally every color flake that you could possibly think of is in there. And it looks juicy, as you would expect from the name. And then the last thing I picked up is actually a really interesting bait. This is a new Gary Yamamoto worm. This is called the Slinko. Uh, this is supposed to be a floating worm. So I actually picked these up for like a shaky head or like a Texas rig or something like that. But look at the color on that. I think they call that, what is that? Watermelon moon dust? Yeah, that's what they call that one. So I, I don't know how to describe that. Watermelon moon dust is a pretty good way to describe it. It's watermelon on one side and then just kind of like this pro blue with a ton of purple and blue flake in it on the other side. Really interesting looking color. Again, these are designed float, so they should be a perfect little like shaky head bait. Or even if you want to throw them on like a normal Texas rig or something, I'll probably just be throwing them on a shaky head or something like that. But yeah, great looking little bait. They're Yamamoto baits, so obviously they're going to be pretty high quality. And uh, yeah, really excited to get both that bait as well as that color out in the water and see what it can catch. All right, folks, that's going to do it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Just a little bit of a shorter unboxing for y'all. Again, this is kind of like an impromptu video. I wasn't really planning on making this one, but just the opportunity presented itself and I figured I'd go out and spend a bunch of money on fishing stuff because, again, the fishing kind of sucks right now. But yeah, really excited to try out some of this stuff, especially that Berkeley Gilly. Like I said, one of you guys actually suggested I do a review on that bait, so that'll be coming at some point in the future. Let me know if you guys want to see like a review on any of these other baits, those new Yamamoto worms or maybe the Bongo or the Okashira heads or something like that. But yeah, I'm actually going to get tied up and get ready to go fishing tomorrow with one of my buddies, so hopefully we'll be able to get on our first fish of the year, like I said. But other than that, hope you guys enjoyed again. Check my and I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.